want to talk a little bit about an art called visualization. It's just visualizing your opponent, whatever you're doing when you're practicing by yourself. We practice by ourselves continually in these arts with kata, forms, exercises, etc. And when you're doing these things, you want to try to visualize what is going on around you. You can have uh, learning aids like a training bag, particularly one with arms. You can have a training bob, body opponent bag. You can have chalk on the floor. There's various ways to do this. Some of the more important exercises where you really first notice if somebody can visualize or not are ones that Taika taught us a series of drills called spiderweb. In these drills, there are several uh, times where you're doing motions and you're going off on specific angles. Now, those angles are in spiderweb, like for instance, the first one is a right punch from an opponent and you're moving back, you're covering, you're doing your arm bar, you're going over to the other side, and a tool like this kind of helps you visualize that as you go. You can get your arm bar in, frontal arm bar, etc. Other tool, Bob, I can touch, I can physically touch that shoulder. One of the distinct motions that we do in gaining speed with type is art is touching the shoulder, not going after, not going after the hand, but touching the shoulder to move the hand. So, even with a body opponent bag, he actually has no arms, but it does have these rounded shoulders. So I can do that spider whip drill. I can touch his shoulder and touch his shoulder, come out, do my opening, touch his shoulder, touch his shoulder, hit his ribs, arm bar, arm bar, that kind of motion. Those are a little bit easier to deal with because you have a tactile touch. But you can also just draw a line on the ground with a piece of chalk. I use chalk continually in the dojo, have black mats, it shows up real well. It's gone by the next class unless I retouch it up. So all I've done here is I've set a trash can upside down and tra uh, traced the outline of it and I have basically a torso shape. So when I'm doing my spider web exercise or other exercises, I can drop down and I can see that this is right by where the shoulder of my opponent would be. And I can come under and I can imagine sliding down that arm. I can imagine tapping the belly and look, I'm lined up with the outside of the other shoulder. I can slide down the arm, open, the ribs, I know we're going to be right here. I can come up. I can visually pause, look at that, and get my angles right. What I see frequently students have problems, particularly in spider web, is they will end up doing this kind of motion, and then they're way out here, etc. And you see where my body of my opponent is. My opponent's way over here. Now granted, as you're doing things, your opponent's going to move and move off balance. But if you don't have that frame of reference, you're not thinking about touching the shoulder, touching the shoulder, sliding down the arm, tapping the belly, touching that other shoulder, both hands down the arm, off the ribs, pass, elbow, into the side of the opponent. I can see that. That's lined up and their arm would be traced down here. Turn, now I'm in a frontal arm bar. So I'm able to see this visually at home without a training partner, without a bag that has arms, without a bomb. 